<laughs> Not bad. Oh no! Don't do it again! Hey guys, so we've recently been seeing a lot of squeegee art on the internet, and it looks like so much fun. Like, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's thing. so fast and satisfying. <sighs> so today we're going to be trying it for ourselves. But before we jump into something really complex, let's do some testing. So what we're going to be testing is different squeegees as well as different types of paint because we have this fancy Liquitex paint that we saw other squeegee artists use, but we also have this cheap flow acrylic paint that we already owned that we thought could also work. So we're gonna try each paint type with each squeegee type. Yeah. And that way we know when we're doing the real squeegee art, we're like using the best of what we got. Yeah. So the first squeegee is the most expensive squeegee on the list. It's nine dollars. But it has rubber. Aerodynamic. It has, it has like a, a rubbery flex to it. This looks like a shower squeegee. It, it, it is it is hundred percent a shower squeegee. Let's uh put a few of the fancies out and a few of the cheaps out. Do these ones not have the No they they just pull. I'm just like do these expensive paints not have the little spouty top because the spouty <laughs> top is one of the reasons we got the expensive paints. That, that's why that's why hundred percent I'm just gonna do a few dots. Yeah, one thing that we've noticed is that when you're pulling the squeegee in the squeegee art, the paint goes a long way because you're leaving behind a very, very small record of this, paint. This feels like pretty thin paint. It's pretty thin paint, yeah. Okay, perfect. And I'll do some dots of this. Not as precise. Not as precise. You know? Did I not open this one? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Do you want to just use the ones you opened? Okay, yeah. <laughs> here, here we go. <laughs> it right. seems a similar consistency. Yeah. So it could work. Do you want to okay. do the first pull or should I? I'd love to do it. Thank right. you. Okay, cool. Okay. I don't know how much to like press down or anything. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll guess and we'll see. I thought I was pressing lightly. It's like and if you look here cute. afterwards, most of the paint ended up on the squeegee. I wonder also, like, is it the type of <laughs> board that we're using? Maybe we should have tested this before we started streaming it. I, I could get some paper. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> oh no. You know what? Maybe it's the squeegee's fault. Maybe, Maybe it's, it's not us. Maybe it's the squeegee. Do we have any like watercolor paper? Well, you can either let me go look or and you come out here or. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll do the same colors in the same order. The next up is a fairly cheap squeegee. This is mainly used on like drywall projects and stuff like that. Ready? Yeah. Okay, oh, that's way wow. better. Wow. Now one thing that's very interesting again is some was left over. So I could try doing this again, but load it heavily, more Start heavily. With this one. Okay. Also, get into the good habit of cleaning off our squeegees immediately after using them, because otherwise the paint's gonna build up and we won't be able to keep using them. Yeah. All right. Now good. let's do this one last time with the absolute cheapest of squeegees. Ready to? Yeah, you go for this one. All right, Very that works similar. Well. Now one thing that's interesting is. I'm gonna try messing with this a little bit. You can I think go over you can it again. Try angling it a little bit, like more. And then you can drag it. You can drag it, but we can also more just like heavily load, like the, the piles of, of ink. Or if we want something to go far, farther, we can, <laughs> can do that. We'll like thin it but out. But like the thing is, we we want to leave paint on the paper. Okay, so I think that honestly, the tests are are pretty good. I think I'm ready to move on. Mm -hmm. Just waiting for you to type our transition screen. <laughs> so first up, we have painting number one, two-sided dots. That's what we're titling it. So theoretically, this is what it should look like. This is what the process should be. Two poles, really cool easy, very cool. And you end up with this like unique design. Also, we figured if we start abstract, then it's harder to mess it up. Hopefully no leakage. <laughs> oh my God, if that had been open. I'm gonna kind of go for some bigger dots right here. Mm, okay, looks like a gender reveal party with mustard and ketchup. <laughs> okay. There's something satisfying about applying little dots of paint with a very precise little 
squirty spout. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's part no. of the abstract design. It's okay. It's totally fine. Yeah, it's totally fine. Are you going, oh, you're just covering, <laughs> going straight up over it. That's why it's such a sharp turn on your uh, curve here. Okay, I see. It's all part of the plan. It's all it's part going, of the plan. It's going as part of the plan. Oh, this is really fun. I'm so excited to swipe this, you guys. I know. Okay, baby, are you ready? Wait, do you want to, should we take a picture of it so you know where to put the dots? Oh, I mean, you can just look. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, you ready? Oh, it's gonna have it. It's gonna happen. Oh, it's looking cool. Come on, paint. Keep going. Wait, go shallower so it doesn't run out. <gasps> oh, oh man, it was so close. That's so pretty close. cool. You know, uh, I'm gonna get a paintbrush. Yeah, there's and some just... parts that didn't get covered. I think <clears throat> that's fine. That's not cheating. No, it's not yeah, cheating. Yeah, you can just. And that's okay. I'm, I'm almost thinking, should we go backwards to some tests? And let's test the fancy one, pushing it less hard. On so maybe TikToks. you're just pushing too hard. Maybe you ruined the entire test. <laughs> Sorry. Get away from me with your painty hands. <laughs> All right, guys, are you ready for this? I'm not. I believe in you. I mean, it did thin it out more. It did thin it out more. Just like it did in our test. You know, and it is kind of abstract. People online just make it look so easy. <laughs> yep. Let's see what this masterpiece looks like. All right, guys, there it is. The there complete it is. piece of artwork. And technically, that is artwork. Technically, it is. So this was the, uh, what we were aiming for right here. And this is what we got. <laughs> the goal, reality. You know, I think part of it is just the confidence in the squeegee line. Cause yeah, like, Charissa's lines are like very confident. And yeah, we're still getting- I got getting a little wiggly on this one right there. got a little there. wiggly I got on a little it. wiggly. Hey love, I have another squeegee art ready to be squeegeed. Ooh, exciting. All right. Push down, pull. Buy a Ridge Wallet. There's a sponsor of today's video. Ridge makes awesome wallets and compact key cases. But did you know they're also giving you a chance to win a new upgraded Hennessy Ford Bronco or $75,000 if you prefer the cash? Entering is free through the Ridge website and you can get one bonus entry for every $1 you spend and custom Hennessy products come with up to 1,000 entries. Plus, you can't deny how their slim profile and protective case are perfect for kitty chin rubs. And they fit up to 12 cards and are available in over 30 colors and styles. And if you're tired of your keys jingling around, you can also check out their key cases and get 30% off if you buy a wallet and a key case together. This is an amazing time to get a Ridge wallet since you have the chance to win a Hennessy Ford Bronco or $75,000. Plus, if you go to ridge.com slash Evan and Caitlin and use code Evan and Caitlin, you'll get 10% off and 10 bonus entries at checkout. But the sweepstakes ends September 30th. So if you've been considering getting a Ridge wallet or key case, go to ridge.com slash Evan and Caitlin. So do you think we should do more tests? No. I just want to do more, more, more tests with the fancy squeegee. Just so I get a feel with for things, With fancy squeegee and cheap paint. Yeah, let's see if I can just do a quick drag. You ready? See, it's still. Like, I wasn't pushing at all, really. I know. That's crazy. What I want to do is I want to try doing a swipe with the uh, green, but with the opposite side. There's so much <laughs> that needs to be cleaned. They don't show you this in the TikToks. Look at this. In these TikToks, they're just swiping. They're just having fun. I need more water. They're not showing you the true, the true reality of the situation. Running for water, keeping and preserving our paints. These bottles are so small. Look at how tiny this yellow is. It's so tiny. <laughs> hey baby. What? Cardstock. We have cardstock. <gasps> we have cardstock. I'm gonna do one last test on this and then I'll go get the cardstock. Okay. Ready? That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I'm gonna 
go get cardstock. Now I think I'm gonna do a similar test. The same three colors. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. I think it's better. It's kind of nice. It's pretty sheer still. It's pretty sheer. It Can is... I try something? I'm gonna try the same thing with the fancy paints here. Let's see if the expensive paints do better. Oh, wow! That's, that's the best I've seen so far. I think I just need to keep my hand flat. I think my hand came up because yeah. there's plenty of color still on there. Yeah, look at the difference between the cheap and expensive paints. It's a big difference. It's a big difference. Oh, Caitlin. What? Expensive paint with metal squeegee. Okay, that's it. Wow! That's it. We've got it. Now the red looks the best, yellow looks good, the blue looks a little bit soft, but I think that's okay. I think that's fine. I think that's the best combo by far. I also have black card stock. Ooh. I'm gonna try this. Let's see how it looks. You guys ready? <laughs> wow! <laughs> we learned some lessons here. <laughs> Wow. Art. It's wow. art. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So next up, we are gonna do painting number two: overlapping arches. This is another one that we saw a te <clears throat> technique from Charisse Art, yep. um, who's a squeegee artist that we found online that we wanted to try. Look at this. Look at that. Look at the curves. Look at that. Look at the overlap. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, let's do that. We know so much more now than when we did the first painting, and we'll just see if this works. You ready? Go for it. Hey, that's art. It's okay. The black just like really extended. It really extended. What are your actual thoughts? So interestingly, I used one cheap paint because I wanted a darker pink next to the lighter pink. This is the darker pink. No it's way! spread out into nothing. So I think one thing we learned is we can't use the cheap paints at all. Do you want to try doing the second arch? Sure. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> not bad. Yeah, I feel like it's not as smooth as mine. I think maybe her squeegee's different <laughs> than ours is. Oh no. It's not bad though. I'm gonna try yellow. Yellow. Don't run out yet. Oh, it's thick at the front. Well, it's gotta go farther. Yeah, that's true. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Well, that one went pretty well. That was the simplest. Yeah. Wait, should we do some artistic lines? Sure, yeah. Go for it. Give me a Posca pen. And I'll give you the whole bin of Oscar buttons. Yes. Abstract. I'm gonna put a little dot. I'm gonna put a little dot on the end here. And on the end here. And on the end here. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. You know, baby, we've learned a lot in this. I feel this like- one's, This is getting better. I feel like, you know, this one, there's some promise there. Yeah. We both you know, I think that if we keep on practicing, we I can eventually get the hang of this. I think so too. I, to some degree. I feel like this shows me that there's promise. Yeah. Cat art. Cats. Cats. Okay, this is from Cats. Cats. A Clara Chris. Okay, so right. that was just a full squeegee in, of one color. Yeah. And then Caitlin gets a draw. Yes, my comfort zone. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, they're so cute. Hey baby, you want to use this pink? No, that one does <laughs> not work at all. Do you think that this is a thick enough line? Yes. Because you're going to be pulling it pretty thin. Yeah. I'm going to go. Go for it. <laughs> so close to greatness. I think like I the middle doesn't press in as much and that shows it. I'm going to start with the red. This is the first time we're doing like a mid canvas sweep like this. You ready? I'm ready. Heck yeah. Yeah, baby. That's a cat. 
<laughs> That's what we were going for the whole time. Heck Love yeah. it. Love it. This is the most successful like vision achievement we've done so far. It is. And I'm going to do a little shorty in the middle. Let's go. You ready? Ready. Oh, why is it so dark no, on that, the that, one that's side? Okay. There's spots. There's, there's fun spots. <laughs> so dark on the one side. It looks pretty good though. So are you going to go for a similar style or something a little bit different? I'm going to try something different. Just, <clears throat> I'm going to try some different eye styles. Creepy cats. They do look kind of creepy without pupils. This guy's a little bit of a goof. What a goofy guy. Looks so much nicer when you peel the paint. Oh yeah, my gosh. Oh my gosh. It makes it look like professional. I know. There's Cats, my, my little trio. I would say this is probably our most successful so far. It was certainly the easiest technique so far. I love them. Painting for koi fish. Ooh. Ooh. So for painting number four, the koi fish, this is our inspiration. Wow. Look at that. Uh. It's so cool. It all kind of starts with uh, a drawing of the koi fish. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just layer on some orange and black and gray dots. We don't have orange. Put white on top. We don't have orange? Yeah, it was supposed to come in the multi-kit. You, you could make an orange. Well, you know one thing we never really tried. This is some orange that we mixed up years ago just to uh, mix up our uh, orange paint. Oh, it's so oh, extra do you jiggly. you hear that, guys? <laughs> I did koi art like a long time ago. I wonder if I can pull up my koi art from like a bajillion years ago. This is one of my first digital arts when I was like a teenager. And then they almost always have I think I'll put like a one, big spot right on the head. I'll put one eye right here and one eye right there. All right, guys, wish me luck. So some big spots and some small spots. Mm -hmm. There. And then I think you can kind of like freehand it. Uh, you guys can't see the full thing, but I like it. Well, that's gonna be fun. Now remember when you, if your squeegee is going this way, yeah. everything's gonna bleed. So much paint. I know, it's, it's painful. It's but kind of, it, it's, yeah, it's kind of painful. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right. Oh, I need to do another pull. I didn't push down no, hard enough. No, you can't. I can, I have to. The top looks better after you did it, but the bottom kind of looks worse. Don't do it again. I don't think this looks bad. Yeah. I yeah. do think it looks cool. And I think we can we can get it there. It's an abstract koi, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 He just joined the stream. Are you making a duck? No, <laughs> it's not a duck. <laughs> it's not a duck. Koi it's an fish. abstract koi fish. Oh my god, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. So, if you cover this part, are these the duck wings? And this is the bill, and these are his eyes, and he's facing us? <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> it's a koi fish? He's a koi duck. It's a beautiful, beautiful koi yeah, fish. Yeah, let's do the reveal. Let's do the reveal. You know, guys, what have we learned today? Techniques and art can be a lot harder than they look online. We've learned the importance of having the right materials. And we've also learned that koi fish can look like ducks. Look at that beautiful koi duck. <laughs> Quack. <laughs> <laughs>